Yo, what's up? It's Nell and Plutes. Uh, I know I haven't updated since my van broke down in Mildura, but we are back. Um, it's been a couple of weeks now, so I'll fill you in on what we've been up to and what's been happening. So we were stranded for about a week in Mildura while they were fixing our car, and that's with me pushing it. Uh, with the insurance to make them go a bit quicker because they gave us an estimate of about a month and that's because they got to get the assessors out and order parts and find a mechanic and all that jazz so we were very lucky that it only took a week but we still went a little bit loopy so we were glad to hit the road again so after I got the van fixed a week later um, we went over the South Australian border and we were meant to cut across straight to Port Augusta and keep going on our way but when I got over the border one of my rear side doors broke so I had to go down to Adelaide to see if I could get it fixed and short story, long story short, <laughs> is that we didn't end up fixing it so we decided to just keep going. It's been a bit of a, a rough time trying to settle back into this lifestyle mentally, physically, emotionally, in all sorts of ways. So yeah, it's, we've just had some quiet time to figure stuff out. <laughs> At the moment we are in Lake McDonnell, so just past Sejuna. Um, this place has been on my bucket list for close to two years now, so glad to finally make it here. Um, there's quite a lot of cars there, so I'm just waiting so that we can have some space to, to take some photos and do our own thing there. Um, but I'll take you guys with me and show you what it's like. Basically, it's this beautiful pink lake on one side and the ocean on the other side, and you drive th right through the middle, and it looks amazing. So. Yeah, can't wait to show you. Um, it's quite windy outside though, so I don't know if I'll be able to get the drone up. Okay, so we are just parked at Lake McDonald in South Australia, and it's a beautiful salt lake, so I'll show you what it looks like. It's bloody windy outside. when we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, I look out the window and I can see. Uh, no, he's not looking. <laughs> Go on. Do you see the dingo? We woke up to a couple of dingoes just playing next to the car and just playing with some like rubbish, I guess, throwing it around. But it's pretty cool. Anyway, I took Pluto for a walk. He just said, trying to get in, he doesn't like the wind. Um, and the dingoes wanted to play with him, and he was not having it. Okay, so it's probably time to have a shower. It's been over a week since I washed my hair. It's crunchy as it's full of salt. Um, so we're at the Nullarbor Roadhouse um, and we're gonna go see what we can find. Right, I found some showers. I think they're a dollar for like five minutes. So. Let's do it. I haven't had a hot shower in a really long time. It's been so cold here. Yeah, good morning. 
morning. We have forgotten to record a little bit, but we've just woken up. We're still on the Nullarbor. This is what the free camps look like. They're just kind of like an open space. There's a few other campers close by and we are just making coffee so we can keep driving. Um, it's been surprisingly quite cold at night, so I had to get Pluto's blanket out so we can keep warm. Um, but we are gonna hit Norseman today, hopefully. It's just another two hours drive of the Nullarbor and then we'll probably finally hit reception and get some chores done, run some errands and take a day off I reckon um, before we start heading to Esperance and see what happens from there. Uh, so I'll take you along, I'll try not to forget this time. Um, and yeah, show you what it looks like. Someone's done some interesting art here in the tree. But, um, I'll take plates for a walk. I just need to be careful of all the 1080 baits that are out and about. So, so we just arrived in Norseman, which is the first town in Western Australia from Sejuna. So it's about a 12 hour drive through the Nullarbor. Um, it's the first time I've had reception for about five days, so it's kind of nice. And not nice to be back in civilization. Um, what are we going to do today? I think we need to just catch up on some survival chores. Um, so I found a cold shower, so we're going to go and do that. There's a laundromat, so I'm going to do my washing for the first time in a month. Um, I need a post office, so we're going to go do that and catch up on all my emails and catching up to do with internet stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. Can you see her plates? Uh, it's been incredibly windy across the Nullarbor, more so than I ever expected. And it's actually been quite, I'm not going to say cold, but it, it's felt cool. Uh, now that we've made it to Norseman, it's going to be hitting the high 20s, uh, low 30s. So it's a nice change to get rid of the wind and have a bit of better weather. So um, we'll enjoy that for the day or so before we head off on our way a bit further down. Pluto's getting a bit over it. He hasn't had a proper run just because of all the baits and stuff that are around. I can't him running off. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go get some stuff done and we'll check in later. So I just realized that we did not check back later like I said that I would and I'm so sorry. Uh, the video vlogs kind of just paused. We got down to Esperance and met some other travelers so we kind of grouped up and hung out together so we didn't do much exploring so I didn't really have much to, um, to make videos about and then I kind of just lost myself in in the socializing to some extent. Another thing that I need to be real about is that I'm really struggling with my own battles at the moment. Uh, some days it's worse than other days and have just not been feeling it um, mentally and emotionally. This lifestyle is hard enough as it is and some days I just want to give up. Uh, and that's probably why this vlog is a little bit choppy and doesn't go with the flow and I forget to make videos, but I'm not ready to give up. Um, I'm going to keep making videos even if, even if they don't sort of meet the standards that I want them to just to keep myself accountable and I'm going to keep you guys updated and take you on the journey with me and Plutes, just because I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know where I'm going, and we're just kind of letting things happen, <laughs> and so if, yeah, I don't want to do it alone, um, so we'll just take one day at a time. I'm going for a little hike with Pluto this morning, just to clear my head, otherwise I feel like I'm just going to sit in the van all day and not get anything done and then get back into that really shitty mental state that I've been in the last few days. 
So we're going to try to get out of that. There's, you know, there's no one else who is responsible for that besides myself. And we're going to fix it. And that's why we're on this trip in the first place. So I'll keep posting videos. If you'd like to subscribe and follow along, please do. I don't really know where this is going to go, but um, let's see what happens. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!